Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SimpleLibraryReview.com. Today we're checking out X Machina by Sound Iron. Sound Iron's latest guitar library here, a multi-sampled virtual electric guitar library for contact featuring Sound Iron's own Craig Peters custom Kessel Aries 7 string. With open and muted strings, lots of low, low, chunky sounds, single notes, power chords, palm mutes, assortment of effects, harmonic pinches, mutes, scrapes, all kinds of great sounds in this thing. Library downloads is 31.9 gigabytes, contains eight NKI instrument presets with an assortment of articulations. In total, there's 62,630 stereo samples, 24-bit, 48K, uncompressed PCM wave samples available for you to use outside of contact. Interface controls include LFOs, filters, glides, pegiator, and a full effects rack. Does require the full retail version of contact 6.2.2 or higher. X Machina normally sells for 99 bucks. All right, before we dive in, listen to a bunch of articulations, talk about the interface and whatnot, I just want to play a little something I mocked up in about, mm, it's been about 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, just getting a feel for the instrument. It is a lot of fun. Let's take a listen to it. Real short demo using, mm, I think, every one of the articulations, a couple different versions of the instruments, and basically just getting fear for it. A lot of fun. I really want to say that I'm enjoying the sequencer. I really wish we would have had Craig program some chugga chugga rhythms for us so we could just load those up and hear like the way he normally plays. That would have been really cool. Um, maybe a little expansion in the future, guys? I don't know. All right, let's dive into the first look. You can see it's a uh, big boy interface here. We've got a number of articulations. Let's just mute the mic and listen to these things here. Now I've got the amped version up. There is a DI version we're gonna look at here in a little more detail. This amped version, this is Craig's custom sound. Uh, it's a double guitar, so we've got um, dual mode on. You can see we've got two guitars right here. You can switch them right in this area with the dual mode off to a single guitar and dual mode back on. <laughs> Flying around the interface, you can see we got controls for body. Gives us a little more depth and darkness, attack, offset, dynamics. Guess what? Goes to 11. Release sample, percentage, and volume. And some vibrato if you want to throw that in on a solo. It'd probably sound better with something like the uh, sustains up high. There's controls for your pitch bend right here. So if you want to play up high, get some natural bends. You got ability, ability to do uh, up to two steps and as little as a quarter step. The mode playing is pretty cool. Play mode, repeat, strum, legato, hammer. Legato, which of course is going to sound nice for those solos. And you'll notice that they're color coded for strings. So you're actually uh, kind of in a zone for which string you're playing on the guitar for this main amped version. 
Now, one thing that was really surprising to me is just how great this sequencer is. I mean, you can load up one of your power coiled palm mutes and just kind of go to town here. <laughs> Sequencer is pretty simple to use. You got your length of your individual pitch, individual note. You've got your velocity. Uh, you got whether you're doing up or down, and then you've got 16 slots to change up all that. The only thing I think I wish I would have loved to have seen is some of these programmed by Craig himself, maybe mimicking some of the way he does some rhythm guitar sequencing with that deep uh, Deeds of Flesh sound that he gets. Um, that's something I really would have liked to have seen. You can randomize everything, and sometimes things get wacky. So maybe that's something you might use. You've got humanized controls for the sequencer as well as swing. What I found is just loading up with uh, 16 steps, making everything a 16th. Then I could get a real... <laughs> This kind of sound really works well for uh, palm mutes. And because you got controls for your release, you could just go ahead and do those power chord sustains. You can see how if you were to go ahead and just place something similar with the pick sustains up high, you kind of get like that real fast picking action. Yeah, that could be improved, that's for sure. But you can see there's a lot of stuff going on with here and a lot of ways you could kind of adjust this. You've got sequence direction, so... You can go in and out. If you do chords. And so there's a lot that can be said about the sequencer. Um, being useful with the instrument, like I said, I would have loved to have uh, a whole bunch of presets that Craig had kind of thrown in to create those really cool low guitar rhythm sounds. Once we get to the simple version, however, the developers opted for one set of samples across the board, which could give you a little lighter footprint with uh, less than one gigabyte of memory used up, as well as some differences in the way you might be able to play the instrument. Do a little infinite string action, basically, in blue there. Now, before we go any further, I just want to make sure we hear these samples. So that can add a ton of realism depending on what kind of program you're going for. Now that's just the amped ones. We looked at the regular amped, the amped simple where we've just got one string across the entire guitar and then an amped simple light or an amped light which keeps our footprint even smaller. When we jump over to the DIY 
on the DI instrument. I don't know why I keep saying DIY. You'll see that uh, I've loaded up the DI light instrument here. It's loading in at um, a little bit over, well, like a little bit under one gigabyte for this memory footprint. Clean electric guitar sound. Wow, <laughs> except it looks like there's some effects that are turned on. Let's go ahead and turn off these effects in the effects rack. Here we go. So you got a nice clean sound there. And there are some really nice clean electric guitar effects rack. Uh, settings as well. Now, of course, once you get uh, turning off all the effects, you could use some premium guitar, VST plugins, effects plugins, and you could really have the sky's the limit because it's just a nice, clean sample set for picks, mutes, palm mutes, pinched harmonics, power chord sustains. straightforward instrument. It's really about the tone. If you're liking this amp tone or if you need a seven string DI that you can customize to your heart's content with your own VST um, effects or these effects rack that's included, then that's where this instrument really gets the bang. It's that tone, that amp that Craig has created and sampled here and the engine really works well and really delivers that good job sound iron thanks for putting this together those are just my thoughts I'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think about tax machine is this something you'll be picking up something you've already been using please comment below your comments help guide the channel that's it for me if you haven't already please like share and subscribe and we'll see you on Fridays for the weekly deal compressor show